What is the best 2.2 trigger? Let's find out in this video. In this video, I have discussed every announced trigger from 2.2 and ranked them from worst to best based on many different factors. Consider subscribing to my channel since I'm decently close to 3000 subscribers and without further ado, let's get started. The song trigger is able to cut a certain part of the song that may not fit the level as much as expected. I find this trigger practically unusable. Every cut made to an already existing song would make it unnatural and broken. If you dislike a certain part of the song, I suggest not using it at all, since editing the song itself may ruin your entire level. Here's Realms without its buildup. Sounds pretty disjointed and weird, right? Free fire mode deletes the ship boundaries on the top and bottom of the screen. Don't get me wrong, this trigger could definitely be used in a nice way, especially in travel levels where it indicates exploring the world. However, I find this trigger very limited in this regard, since without a proper indication it could easily become annoying, where should I go, where is the exit and so on. It's definitely not a bad trigger, but it requires a lot of responsibility. Land Circle creates this black border around your screen. I don't know about you, but I think this is just a lazy way to limit visibility. Plus, we can already create it in 2.1. What we're making is an expanding and retracting circle, except... yeah. And Trigger is used to determine where will be the finish line of a certain level. This trigger is useful, especially in levels that has long end screens, since in 2.1 you have to tweak it in a very obnoxious way. However, this is the trigger's only purpose, so I couldn't really put it higher on the list. Special thanks goes to Fresh Lake Water for providing this video's footage and doing a major part of the trigger's research. Random trigger takes a bunch of objects or triggers and randomly determine which ones are going to take place and which ones get pushed away. From my own experience, players aren't very positive when it comes to randomness, since it's the mechanic you can't practice to its best extent. However, there are millions of other ways how you can use the random trigger. For example, I would really like a level that has 10 different backgrounds and block designs, therefore every attempt can provide you a variable experience. Camera controls are able to change the essential look of the screen by zooming, rotating and more. We all got used to the cube being in this exact spot for the entire playtime. The only thing that ruined this tradition were mirror portals. And everyone hates mirror portals. Camera triggers look cool on paper, but it has the highest potential to become obnoxious quickly. Same with the camera offset, but at least you still have the same amount of visibility provided all the time. Not like this zooming piece of shit. Imagine that you're focused on trying to pass a difficult level when suddenly the screen goes and now you're dead. Jokes aside, it looks kinda cool when watching a playback, I just can't imagine the playing experience. This effect is awesome. As a fan of effect and glitch levels, I really do appreciate the addition of this trigger. The only reason it's not higher on the list is the lack of variability. It's nice and not excessive at the same time. This is personally the trigger I would use the most myself, since I really like this effect even in my video editing software. It only gets better from here though. Time Warp Trigger can change the speed of the obstacles coming towards you. If indicated properly, this trigger can easily open the new era of Geometry Dash. There is no better way to implement atmosphere in your levels than suddenly changing the pace of your surrounding every time the music hits a beat. I may be a bit biased since I am a filter enthusiast, but this is overpowered for themed levels. Do you want a movie part in your level? Just use the grayscale effect, add some movie borders and distorted lines. And voila! The difference between Shockwave and Shockline is that the Shockwave doesn't brutally murder your focus. For instance, compare these two clips and tell me which one would get you distracted.
static camera is pretty much self-explanatory. The camera simply isn't moving with the player, however, it changes the scene every time the player goes off screen. Let's be honest, this is the best part of press start, it just looks surreal. This effect brings likes to the most underrated style in Geometry's history, pixel art. Here are some examples of pixelating done right. As an experienced Geometry Dash creator myself, I've always wanted a feature that could fluently change any object size mid-run. It's true that nowadays creators are able to do it with a bunch of toggle triggers, but it's very inefficient. Every time someone executes an object scale in 2.1, I'm shocked and blown away. Before we end this video, I just wanted to say that some triggers weren't included because we, we basically have no proof about their usage, such as advanced random for example. So if you enjoyed this video, consider watching this one where I play Geometry Rush with a pen. And if you really like my content, I would really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel, leave a nice comment down below. Until the next video, bye bye!